All right, and hello there, people. Hey, Harry. Let me know if the audio is coming through. I was having a little bit of an issue, so I was taking a little bit of time to get loaded up here. We're also wearing our Charmander onesie in the hopes that we can pull some form of Charizard. That would be nice. I'm going to wait because I know there's a little bit of a lag, so I want to see... Okay, perfect. All right, so I don't know if you can see in the corner here, but uh, I can also turn this. There's a giant stack of stuff we're going to open today. So just to get a quick peek at that. So, Harry, how are you today? Before we get this started, thank you, everybody. Uh, make sure to follow Podcast Monsters on Twitter so that we can continue to do stuff like this. Today's stream is gonna be all about me trying to hit affiliate. Um, I need the average of three viewers and as long as I people can hang out and uh, help me out, this should just be a fun, chill stream. Um, yeah, so feel free to hang out, chat in the chat. I'll be reading the chat as I go along. Like I said, I've got a lot of stuff to open. So we're gonna do some of that. Uh, forewarning, there may be some point in time where I do have to step away for a moment. My dog was very sick last night, so I may have to go check on her and let her out. She's doing fine now, but she had an upset stomach all night, so <laughs> we were dealing with that. That's good. C cleaning, cooking, and gaming. The perfect combo. Alright, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, first thing I'm going to open is a Battle Styles pack. Um, pool rates in these aren't the best, so... Let's see what we can get. I've got some sleeves here, just in case we do get something good. Got some of the EV ones left. Those are for Jeff. And I've got some of these Pikachu 25th anniversary ones that I picked up as well. Um, yeah, Zelda's doing good. She just, last night, um, or yesterday, actually, she ate a new, like, non-rawhide rawhide. It's like an alternative that doesn't have actual rawhide in it. And, um... It just didn't agree with her, so we were up basically all night kind of dealing with that. We took her in this morning, and they said it, it it's basically just an upset stomach, so. All right, so there is the green card, which means that there's probably not going to be something great in this pack. We'll do the card trick here. All right, and we've got a steel energy. Need to figure out where I'm actually going to put these cards. I got this giant stack of stuff going on over here. I don't even know where to put it. We're actually just going to set this here in the background for fun. Grumpig. Let's focus again on this. We got a Luxio. We've got a Spoopa. And also, if anybody's watching this and you're not super into Pokemon cards, I appreciate you for hanging out. Um, later, I possibly plan on playing some Outriders. It depends on if Logan is down and wants to play. That would be a lot of fun. I've got a Timber here. Slowpoke. Corfish. Sand it. Let's move a little bit over this way. A Reverse Hollow Haunch Crow, and a Jellicent is the rare, so nothing really too great in that. Um, we're going to move right on. We're going to go a little faster because there is a lot to open, so we're going to move right into Vivid Voltage. Um, I think after this pack, I might open one of these uh, boxes up here, uh, just something else so that we can kind of see some different packs instead of just the Vivid Voltage and um, Battle Styles, because there's quite a few of those oh geez there we go all right so vivid voltage another green not the best but whatever at least it'll maybe give me something good in the online game i don't know if anybody here plays the online game i've been doing it recently and been having a lot of fun with it as well jeff and i are going to eventually co-stream playing that together all right so we've got in elec electric electric i don't know how to pronounce that Another Delmize, a Stunfisk, a Poochayana, a Voltorb, Rockruff, Talo, Yanma, a Reverse Hollow Wismer, and a Vaporeon. That is a cool Vaporeon. Um, cool looking art. Nothing else really too much about it. Also, anybody that realizing there might be people that are watching that don't know, Zelda is my dog. Um, she, yeah, like I said, she got into something that didn't agree with her. So that was fun. But like I said, if I make a, a runaway. Actually, we're not going to open that Vivid Voltage. We are going to open. Let's do the first partner pack. 
the um, Alola one just came out. So we're gonna open this up. Uh, I'll show off the big cards and then we'll move on to the booster packs. Move that out of the way a little bit to open it. It's so big, it's hard to like open it right there in front. So we've got the three cards here. And let's see what packs we have. Got a base set, Sun and Moon, and a Battle Styles. Ooh, this is much better than last month's. I don't know if you guys are uh, playing along or collecting along with the first partner packs. They started last month, uh, but the booster packs were not great. These are much better. All right, so let's look at these ginormous cards, if I can get them off of the desk. Ooh, these are cool. So we've got a Rowlet. Let's scoot this back. They're so big, it's like hard to get the full art. Litten, my boy, and a Poplio. That's a cool art for that Poplio. So we will throw these. And with the partner packs, they also released these like binders for the large cards. So we've got Pikachu, Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble. I think eventually I'll reorganize these to go from like the card number. But for now, we're just going to kind of slide these in here. Let me get them in order. I don't, you guys don't really need to watch that, but just wanted to show off these giant cards before we open some packs. What I'm hoping is that today I'll actually get something in a Battle Styles pack because I have not really gotten nothing. I, I haven't gotten like anything in Battle Styles yet that's really worth writing home about or making a big deal about. Like. I said though the pull rates and battle styles are just horrendous right now um i'm much more excited for chilling rain to be honest so yeah there we go poplio litten and let's go back to rowlet it should just be yeah right there okay those are out of the way we'll get this guy out of the way as well and let's open this base set sun and moon and see what we've got Yeah, and then also for anybody that doesn't know, I do co-host a Pokemon podcast. It is a weekly Pokemon podcast. I co-host it with my good buddy, Jeff Grizz Ulrich. Yeah, Chilling Rain does look really awesome. Um, Jeff and I do that every week. This is where basically we, we hadn't announced what we were going to do on the next episode. We have announced that we have a guest, uh, Will Beeman. Shout out to Will Beeman and Cantina Conversations. Um, if you like Star Wars, check out Cantina Conversations. It's excellent. Um, but anyways, we hadn't fully decided what our topic was going to be. So we have decided, and just to give everybody kind of a heads up so they can watch it, we're going to do an in-review of Pokemon the First Movie. So if you have not watched Pokemon the First Movie recently, it is a good time to watch it. We'll be watching it as well, and then we'll basically do an in-review of it and give our thoughts and impressions on Pokemon the First Movie 20-something years later. So, all right. Crushing Hammer, a Poliwhirl, Shelter. A young goose, which definitely resembles a certain public figure. Paris. Caterpie. Makahita. Bound Sweet. And Incineroar. I do really like Incineroar. Um, I know a lot of people don't like that it's another firefighting type. Hello, welcome. Thank you for hanging out. Um, so yeah, Incineroar, nothing great. Let's move on to this other battle styles that was in here. And then I think after this, we'll pop up or open something else. I did also receive, I don't know if, I do live in NorCal. Yes, I do. I live um, up in Humboldt County, if you know where that is. It's basically two hours, no, maybe like four hours north of San Francisco. All right. Electric Energy, a Lexio, Single Strike Energy. Level Ball, an Electabuzz, oh, Dark Fire, sorry. Isn't he fighting fire in the games? No? Nice, the bay. I have, not me, but my fiance's family lives down in Kensington. Oh, hey. Scatterbug, Houndour, ooh, a Reverse Hollow Tapu Boof Bulu. Cannot pronounce that. Ooh, and a Necrozma V. Nice. It's funny because I have the Necrozma GX box here that I'll probably open up next. 
So that worked out pretty well. This is a nice card that will get sleeved as well. But yeah, my fiance's family lives down in Kensington right by Berkeley. So we go down there. When there's not a pandemic, we go down there a lot. Uh, a lot of them are firefighting, but Incineroar was one of those psych out. Yeah, it's funny though because he's a wrestler and like everything like that. So, but yeah, Necrozma V, awesome. That was actually a super good pull. That was out of a Battle Styles pack. That's my first good pull out of a Battle Styles pack. Ah, San Jose. I lived in Scotts Valley for six, seven months down there by Santa Cruz. So we had to go by there a lot. All right. Let's open up this Necrozma uh, GX box and see what we get. I'm going to pull it off to the side here to get at least the plastic wrap off. Yeah, I don't... I haven't really been to San Jose much, but I've definitely been in that area a lot and, like, drive by it often. Or used to drive by it often when I still live down there. Okay, Necrozma GX box. Let's open it up. It's got some cool artwork on the side. Uh, I do love where I live now. I've actually grew up here. I've moved around quite a bit. I grew up here moved down to the Santa Cruz area, like I said, and then I moved up to Oregon for about five years, and now I'm back in California. So the Necrozma GX and the Necrozma V are very similar artwork, but it's very cool. I'm glad that I was able to pull that. But yeah, I do love where I live. Um, it's nice to be close to family. It's a small area. There's certain things that I, I definitely miss about being in larger cities, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I do like the small town kind of like knowing everybody sometimes is nice, but also at the same time it's not nice sometimes because then you see people that you maybe don't like, which happens to everybody. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, the creme de la creme, the evolutions pack. That's what we were looking for. All right, so we've got a burning shadows, an evolutions, a nether burning shadows, and a guardians rising. I think out of this box, we're going to keep the box itself to store cards in, but out of this box, we are going to save the evolution for last, because that's probably the most exciting one in here. All right. Let's... I love that artwork, though, for that um, Mega Evolution Charizard. And if you've listened to our podcast, you would know... Or if you listen to our podcast, Pocket Monsters, we did just put up an episode, actually talking about what, uh, essentially what 10 Pokemon we would like to see get Mega Evolutions if they ever bring back Mega Evolutions, which please bring back Mega Evolutions. I personally, that's like one of my favorite gimmicks in the Pokemon games was Mega Evolutions. I just like the new designs and some Pokemon that never got Evolutions got really cool Evolutions. All right, so Burning Shadows. I don't know the card tricks in some of these older packs. Um, I just recently got back into collecting, so. I'm going to assume it's four on basically everything that's come out recently. All right, Fire Energy, Simipore, Super Scoop Up, so Viper. Yes, Megas are awesome, Harry. Uh, Cutie Fly, Ladyba, Alolan Grimer. That's a cool artwork. It actually kind of like, let me focus a little bit more. It kind of reminds me of like the warehouse in Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Ryolu, that's cool artwork as well. A Meowth, a Reverse Hollow Lycanroc, what is that, I think it's Midnight Form, and, ooh, a, a Lolan Ninetales. So, some cool ones there, let's move on to another, let's do Guardians Rising since there's two Burning Shadow packs in here, I'll save the other Burning Shadows for a little bit later. I think after this we'll open up that the Pokeball 10 as well. I think I grabbed the wrong one. Um, I know there's some older ones that actually have the... Uh, I think they actually have a chance of getting evolution packs in them. Any places to buy Pokemon up there? Um, yes, there's local card shops. Um, but there, of course, the prices aren't what they should be, unfortunately. At the local card shops, they're definitely charging more. But there's like Target, Walmart, um, those types of places, GameStop, if they have them. The Target near me is literally put up a sign, I don't know if it's the same at every Target, saying that uh, they're only selling Pokemon cards that are... Any sort of Pokemon card assortment that is $19.99 or up, they will only be selling Friday mornings at 8 a.m. when they open. So, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, Sligu, 
Let's make sure it's focused. Energy Lotto, Sableye, Fanthump, which is such a weird name. Steffel, a Whalmer, Machop, Wimpod. Ooh, a reverse hollow whaler. I really like the artwork on that one. And a hollow Mimikyu. That's a pretty cool one. I don't think... Not really too fond of putting that in a sleeve or anything. So we're going to kind of just keep moving through. Uh, Harry, I have faith in you. I think you can do it again. I just... I went up on a Saturday and I read the sign. And it was just... Yeah, I was completely wiped out. And I work... Uh, at 8.30 every day, 40 minutes, the or basically an hour the opposite direction of the the local Target where they actually sell. So I can't, I can't make it in there to buy the cards. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, hopefully, even, hopefully eventually Pokemon cards just become easy to find because I would like to keep collecting them and not have to pay astronomical prices. I think, honestly, though, after... Uh, give me one sec. Um, anyways, honestly, after this kind of set that I have here and a couple things that I have ordered, I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break from buying cards because I'm getting married in June. Sorry, my computer keeps hopping up random things. Um, I'm getting married at the end of June, so I need to kind of focus on paying for things for that and getting that all planned out. So I wanted to kind of do one big pack opening now. I'll probably do some smaller ones here and there, but I wanted to do this big one because like all this stuff showed up. And again, shout out to Pokemon TCG Drops for like a majority of the stuff that I'm opening today. Uh, Guzma, Super Scoop Up, Noibat, Dupider, Tangela, Rhyhorn, Riolu, Reverse Hollow Sneasel, and a Scoliopede. I can never pronounce that name. Um, yeah, it's coming up pretty fast. We just had to adjust our venue. Um, as some people may know, planning a wedding in a pandemic is really, really tough. So we are going to have to switch our venues that we had, sadly. Uh, but we found a new venue that's better um, that kind of was more what we're looking for. So that's awesome. Um, won't have another Friday off until the end of June, but I may randomly get sick on a Friday. So the funny thing is, is that I got my first uh, COVID vaccination on uh, last Thursday. And so the I get have to get my second one again on a Friday or on a Thursday. And I already told my manager, I'll probably won't be there that Friday because that second one, the first one already was like kind of beat me up. But the second one, I have a feeling is just going to like kind of knock me out. So I plan on maybe trying to, if I'm up to driving that morning, driving all the way up to uh, the Target to see if I can pick up some cards early that morning, since I'll be sick. All right, so that's not promising that there's a green card here. Obviously, I'm really hoping for a Charizard, but you know, that's everybody wants a Charizard in every set. I'm going to guess it's four on this. I don't know if it's different or not, but... Oh, I love the old artwork on cards, like the original base set cards. So this is going to be very... I'm going to take a little bit more time with this one, probably. Uh, Charizard Spirit Link. A super potion. God, this is bringing me back. Beautiful, beautiful Machoke. An Onix. Onix was actually my brother's first Pokemon card. It's weird that I know that. but A Fairy Energy. RIP those. They do not exist anymore. A Voltorb. A Tangela. Sorry, let me move that a little bit better. Poliwag. A Slowbro Spirit Link. And... Oh, that's it. The Slowbro Spirit Link is the rare. So, okay. I may not have gotten anything, like, amazing in this pack. But, God, I love these old cards. Like, these are the ones that I care the most about. I don't really care about the new ones. I care about these old ones. Because nostalgia is a real thing for a 30-year-old who absolutely loves Pokemon. All right. So that has been opened. That was the last one of this set. I'm going to keep these cards set aside to a different spot because I would love to probably sleeve these up and save them somewhere for later. Oops. Let me adjust to this. 
Sorry, my light got moved. There we go. All right. Uh, next, I think what we're going to do is let's pop open. I got this Leonhart box, if anybody is a fan of Leonhart. Oh, the Starmie was the rare, was it? Is Starmie a rare? Maybe I didn't do the card trick right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Starmie is the rare. Yeah. It's down there on the bottom right. So if we can get it to focus. There we go. Yep, it is the rare. Thank you. I did not know that, but yeah, this is... God, the nostalgia is so real. I don't even care if it's not like a base set, actual base set pack, just getting those. All right, so like I said, I don't know if anybody is fans of Leonhart, but he did these boxes he released where it was some Battle Styles packs and then a couple of like booster packs that he himself had like, not, I don't know if himself, but like they had thrown together and they have just random cards. So this is kind of what they look like. This is one of, these are the booster packs that he made. And then yeah, some Battle Styles. Um, it each one came with three. Maybe evolution is three instead of four. You could be right. Um, I already opened two of these battle styles the other night on our podcast, so I only had two, or I opened two of them. I have four left. Sorry, words are hard today. So I'm gonna add these to my pile over here. I'm gonna open these first, um, just because I want to kind of see what random cards we get. So let's do that. Let's open this one and. Kind of see what we get. Sorry, move that over. Uh, congratulations, you are in possession of an exclusive Ninja Heart booster pack. Get it to focus a little bit there so you can read it. All right. Ooh, so we have a Natu. If you watch him, you know that whenever he pulls a Natu, he says Natu. How do you do? So that's why this card I think is signed. We'll keep these separately. There's a Ninja Heart card, which is like again a card that he made or was made for like his channel a Leonhart Energy, and all right, let's get into the other cards. Ooh, a Darkrai, Reverse Hollow. I like that. A Malamar, Reverse Hollow. A Centiscorch, just regular Hollow. Sorry, let me move that down a little bit. A Hatrine, got a bunch of Hatrines. Ooh, I like that Dialga a lot. That artwork is really cool. All right, let's see if we get anything good. A Hollow Professor's Research. And a Galarian Obstagoon. Oh, that's not it. And a Hollow Lycanroc. So, nothing like super, super amazing in this pack. That's kind of a bummer. Um, these boxes are not cheap. Yeah, he really does like to market himself. That's very true. Um, these boxes were not super cheap. So, it is kind of a bummer. But it's completely random at what cards you get in these. So, these ones I'll probably set off to a different pile. Just because I might kind of throw some of those in cases as well, too. You guys can't see my pile, so I guess I don't really need to tell you. But let's move these to the side. I don't really need to hold on or have these in that pile. Yeah, that Dalga does look really cool. All right, let's open the other one of these. I just want to make it through these first just to see if we get anything good because there could be something in here. He opened a couple of them on his stream. Now, I don't know if it was, like, rigged or planned at what cards you'd get, but there were some cool cards. So, all right, another Leonhart Energy. I think I really need these boxes, but whatever. We'll hold on to them for now. Uh, piles for days. Yes, so many card piles. All right, an energy, a Leonhart and Archie. I think this is dog. An Indeedee V. That's cool. I don't have Indeedee V. A very cool Dragapult. I love Dragapult, so that's awesome. A Rillaboom. I don't have this version of Rillaboom, so that's cool. A Victini. A Shenotic Reverse Hollow. A Heracross Reverse Hollow. A Lady in Reverse Hollow. A Como O Reverse Hollow. And a Reverse Hollow Camera. So, honestly, kind of a bust on both of these. There's some cool cards, but I was kind of hoping to maybe get some, like, base set card. There was a chance of getting those. Um... But still, regardless, some cool cards. I'll, you know, set these off to the side to sleeve up later since they're all basically hollows. Uh, the random energy stuff from his channel I'll just set to the side. And we'll move on. Um, yeah, let's go with the, the uh, what is this? This is a quick ball, right? Harry, you know. What Pokeball is this? 
Is, is it? It's not a quick ball, is it? It's a timer ball. One of those two. How do you open this thing? Somewhere on the side of here. Ah, oh, there we go. Maybe. Maybe I should have brought scissors. Level, level ball. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff is my amazing co-host. Jeff, how are you? It is a level ball. Thank you, Harry, as well. Jeff, I spilled the beam on, beans on what our podcast topic is going to be for this coming weekend so that people could be prepared, anybody watching that wants to rewatch Pokemon the first movie for a nostalgia trip. And when I say Pokemon the first movie, I do not mean the remake on Netflix. I mean the original movie. Which, I mean, theoretically, you could if you wanted to watch the one on Netflix. It's basically the same movie, just with, like, different voice acting, a couple different things, not too much. Jesus, this is hard to get off. Um, and <laughs> noob. <laughs> different voice acting and not as good, a, like, pop music. I don't know if I would say it's worse. It's just different. It's, like, very, like, weird CG choice, but I don't know if I would say it was worse. All right. Now, I think again, I think this is one of the newer ones, which the packs that come in these aren't the best, but we'll see. Yeah, let's see. We've got a Breakpoint, a Sun and Moon Base, and then an XY Fates Collide. So we'll open these up as well. Sorry, you guys couldn't really see that. Um, and a cool little coin that's got a Heatran on it. So that's cool. I've got a bunch of those coins. Eventually, when I actually start playing the TCG, I'm going to hold on to this level ball now that i know what it is thanks jeff and harry uh let's open a what have we not opened we're gonna open a break break point pack so we'll set that back there and let's see break point 10 additional game cards i don't know if there's volcan what did i say did i not say volcanian oh i said heatran volcanian yes sorry i don't know why i said heatran why did i say heatran that's so weird Mentioning my new com noob comment again. I meant Volcanian. God. Calling me out. Making me. Embarrassing me in front of random people on the internet. After I talked so highly about you, Jeff. One, two, three, and four. All right. Let's see. Did I Nope. I did that wrong. So it's only three for this pack. So Sides Matoda is the rare. Uh, Dunsparce. <laughs> I know what's all of. Durant. Luxio. That's a cool Luxio art. If anybody knows, Luxury is one of my favorite Pokemon, so that's really cool. Blitzel. A very cool art, Staryu. Scorupi. Pet Petalil. Pancham. Time Pole. And Seismitoad was the rare, like I said. So, not a whole lot in this pack. Uh, Jeff, I don't know if you just got here or not but i opened an evolutions pack which has old artwork cards so here's these again for you because they are so beautiful i love the old art i just saw an article that popped up um that was talking about how like all of the backgrounds for these old cards was just like pre-rendered backgrounds uh like um like generic like screensaver backgrounds all right Let's do a Fates Collide. I don't think I've ever opened one of these. That last one was only three cards, so maybe this one's only three as well. I don't know. So we're just going to try that. Uh, the code is backwards, so one, two, three. Let's see if I got it right this time. Oh, yeah, let's see. Team Rocket's Handiwork. Altaria Spirit Link. Ooh, that's really cool. Chaos Tower. That's a cool card. Is that? That's not a rare. Okay. Uh, Mencino. Men, Men, Mencino? Mencino? I don't know how to pronounce it. Carbink. Fennekin, my boy. I actually don't really like Fennekin that much. I just, I like fire type, so. Uh, a Sencino Reverse Hollow. And, ooh, ho, ho, ho. An Alakazam GX with the best evolution on the card. That is absolutely beautiful. It is kind of bent a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. But man, that is... Wow, I absolutely love it. That is so cool. Let's focus a little bit on that. 
That is definitely the best pool so far. We're gonna put that in one of these cool Pikachu ones, but wow. Okay. I am very, very happy with that pool. Cause I also could have bought one of those Alakazam boxes that comes with like the Alakazam like G or Alakazam GX or whatever. But wow, that is so beautiful. That is definitely going in the sleeve and going in the box. Okay. So this, I was worried that this level ball um, thing was gonna have some really crap cards, but that was a beautiful card. All right, last one in here is the Sun and Moon pack. We've opened one of these already today. I need to like eventually start moving my giant pile of cards somewhere else that I just got as well too. Oh, that's promising. Jeff, you know all about that. One, two, three, let's do three again. All right, Team Skull Grunt. Poison Barb, Charge Bug, a Alolan Rattata, which we already saw when I opened the pack. Let me load this again. Uh, Chenchu, Paris, uh, Polywag. Yeah, I think you just refresh it. Dewpiter, uh, Alima, I think that's how you pronounce it. Lima. Ooh, and then a cool holographic Alolan Muck. I do like that. That will get a sleeve as well. Psychic Energy, and that was the last card. So maybe this one was a four. A four, um, what's the word I'm trying to use here? Four card, card trick, thank you. Again, everybody, thanks for hanging out. I'm really trying to hit affiliate status. Um, I've been streaming a lot of Destiny recently, and that's definitely been helping get my goals. The only one I have left is getting an average of three viewers. So if I can just get people to hang out, even just open Twitch, so that way I can hit affiliate. I would greatly appreciate it. That way we can do co Jeff and I can do co streams and stuff like that as well too. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, okay, let's just open another vivid voltage. We want Chunkachu, so we're gonna try for Chunkachu. Um, other than that, we'll keep opening battle styles. We'll open some of these Urshifu V boxes soon too. Like I said, we have a lot of stuff. We're just hanging out. I got nothing else to do. It's a Sunday. It's Easter. I can't really see my family because we're in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, one, two, three, four. I know this one is four. So we've got a water energy, an opal, a B, which she has some really cool episodes in the anime, the most recent anime, which we have an episode about as well, too. Pokemon uh, Journeys. Do what? An EV, Jeff's favorite Pokemon, for some god awful reason. Trubbish, Shepet, Choodle, Riolu, a Reverse Hollow Toucanion, or Toucanon, how you pronounce it? Oh, what? what? Two in a row. Colossal V Max. Oh, baby. The Rainbow Colossal VMAX. It is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Jeff, we all know Eevee's your favorite. I know it's probably pretty far behind. Sorry, I don't know if that has anything to do with my streaming side of things. Just better than Pikachu. God, this card is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. Definitely getting sleeved. Going to the pile that will get added to the folder. So far, the best pulls, well, we have the muck as well too. I wouldn't consider that the best, but we've got the Alakazam EX and that Colossal VMAX. So those are beautiful, 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 beautiful cards. Sorry, let me move those out of the way. Yeah, those rainbow cards are awesome. Didn't get any, uh, the Toucanon in here. I'm not going to worry too much about sleeving up. Saving the sleeves. Let's do another Battle Styles because we've got quite a few of those as well. I really want to get an actual like good pull out of a Battle Styles pack. Um, Vivid Voltage I've had pretty good luck with. And obviously anytime I can get a Shining Fates, I'm like super stoked about it. But I was really hoping... In that first Evolutions pack, I would get that original art Pikachu just because I know how much Jeff hates Pikachu for some reason. He just thinks he's awful, which is weird. 
One, two, three, four. This is gonna be a bad Battle Styles pack as well too, as we saw with the green card. If you guys don't know, the green card usually means it's not a very good pack. Okay, a Steel Energy, a Cacturn, let's focus again. A Rapid Strike Style Mustard, Cheryl, Galarian Mr. Mime, a Silly Cobra, Bellsprout, it is still focused, okay. Onyx, I really like the artwork on this Onyx. A Spiro, Jeff, we know you hate him. A another Onyx, but this time Reverse Hollow. And a Drampa, Call for Family. Jeff, it's it's the Pokemon you want to make evolution. Spoilers for the podcast if you haven't heard it, but that was one of them who deserves a mega evolution. Okay. Let's see here. Let's mix things up a little bit again. And let's open, hell, let's open another one of these tents. Let's open the Lunala GX10. I don't actually know what packs are in here. Um, I knew, he's right, you're right, he's not Silly Cobra. <laughs> uh, I knew that there was an Evolutions pack in the last 10 before I opened it. That's why I was really excited to open it. But, wait, which card do you love so much? Is it the, Lun the new Lunala GX? Is that the one you love so much? Like I said, there's a little, definitely a little bit of a delay. Okay. So Lunala GX. That's a really cool card as well. So let's leave this up. The only thing that sucks about pretty much everything I'm opening today is that none of it is Shining Fates, which is a huge bummer, but I have opened a few Shining Fates and had some pretty solid luck with it. Just not as much as I would want. Oh, Drampaw. Yeah. That is a cool card as well. Drampaw. Another online code. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Maybe this will be the same packs uh, as that last one. I do like that it's like four packs. It makes me feel... Yep, there's another Evolutions pack in here. Thank God. I wanted as many of those as I could get, so I pretty much bought anything that I saw that had them. So that does mean that I have at least four things that have evolutions back in them. Packs in them. Okay, so we've got, let's see here. Got a sun and moon again, another sun and moon, an evolutions, and a fates collide. Let's open these bad boys up. How's everybody doing? You guys enjoying this? I like opening cards on stream because I like being able to record whatever reaction I'm going to have to possibly getting a Charizard in any of these packs. I would also really like to like be able to have like music playing in the background, but I don't really want to play like... Um, I don't really want to play like just any of the like generic music that you can play for streams and any of the music I want to play. I don't want to get like any sort of copyright strike, especially because I plan on uploading this. So it's just going to be awkward silence sometimes. I apologize. Uh, Nest Ball, Rotom Dex, a Charger Bug, Paris, Poliwag, Dupider, Eevee. Jeff's favorite Pokemon again. A Stuffle. Poliwag. Hariyama. And I think Hariyama was the rare. So that was it. Nothing too great in that one either. Are there any stream issues? Not sure. Earlier I saw something pop up. Um, it may let me know if it's still going. If I don't see a response soon, I'll just assume that maybe the stream died. Hopefully not. Plan on soon. Another EV. Okay, it's just it's just far behind. Okay, good. Good. Alright, Sun and Moon, base set. We did learn that it's what? Three for this one? One, two, three. I think that was it. Yeah. A big malasada. A hypno. Pokeball, Young Goose, 
Surskit, Wingle. So far, so good. My video is randomly pausing, which is why I refreshed. Okay, Poplio, Growth. That's a cool Growth artwork. A Reverse Hollow Poliwhirl, and the rare is a Parasect. Very weird. It's a weird card to have as a rare, but whatever. I'm not gonna argue it. All right, Fates Collide. E X or X Y Fates Collide. Sorry. Open this. Yeah, three. Thank you, Harry. You're on top of this. Next up, speaking of Harry next, I'm going to open up that uh, 10 that you sent me in the mail, which I appreciate. One, two, three. Oh. Okay, so it's not. Okay, so we've got a Whimsic Whimsicott. Some of these cards, I just never know how to pronounce the names. An Ammonite. A Zygrade. Zygrade's like the weirdest Pokemon to me because, like, isn't it a rare? But all of the cards recently have been non-rares. So, Coughing, Burmy, Volibi, Larvitar, a Seal, Energy Pouch, and, ooh, that's a cool Snorlax for the rare. I like the artwork on this one. All right, that's that pack. Um, last one of this is going to be the Evolutions pack. So, yes, I am very hopeful that we'll get a Charizard. That's all I was going to say. So open this, and then after this, I'm going to open the battle styles lunchbox 10 thing whatever you want to call it i think it looks like a lunchbox i don't know if, i don't think it actually is a lunchbox but it looks like one. Oh, another green i don't know if it's been the same if it's the same like always or if that changed recently where there's like certain packs it doesn't matter if there's a green but last time it, that worked so a magmar god I, again i love the original art for these cards Surfing Pikachu. God, I remember this card too. Misty's Determination. A Nidoran Male. A Vulpix. Dark Energy. A Magikarp. A Weedle. A Reverse Hollow Magikarp. And the rare is a non hollow Doug Trio. Man, the artwork on these cards, though. Can you just like. Can we just talk about how cool the original Pokemon cards were? <laughs> if it's a box you put your lunch in, it's a lunch box. That's very fair. Like I said, I have a, a completely separate pile for all of my um, Evolutions cards. that The ones that are the old school cards just because I really want to hold on to those and put those in a special place. Alright. So this is that 10 I was talking about. Let's focus there. So it's got the uh, holographic... Tepig and Shinx in there. So we're going to open this guy up. Again, I'm going to pop it off here till I get the plastic off. I should have probably just taken the plastic off all these earlier, but shoulda, coulda, woulda. Let's, we'll get through this. Try to go through these a little bit faster. I know I said we were going to go fast. We still have all four of the boxes to do. So after this, I'm going to move on to one of those. Again, still nothing really in the... Um, nothing really in battle styles yet. What does it have in here? It has the single strike Tepig and the rapid strike Shinx. That's what they are. This box is very cool. Again, thank you, Harry, for finding this. I have not been able to find one in the wild. I tried so hard. And he is the homie and was able to find one for me. So let's open this. It's got giant coins of the different Urshifu poses. So those are cool. Set those off to the side. And we've got the, ah, oh, it's so bent. Why do they send the cards like this? The Tepig and the Shinx. We'll move these down here so you guys can actually see them. But yeah, they're super bent. Um, God, it's a bummer. Even, oh no, it came off. I was gonna say, even that one looked like it had something on it, but. So we'll throw these in cases later as well too. Um, just put 
them off to the side for now. It's a bummer they're so bent. It's kind of annoying. It would be a lot nicer if they weren't. All right, so we've got Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, and just a Sword and Shield base set pack so far. Yeah, it's super annoying that they're bent. I don't know what else is in here. This is kind of cool. Another card. Can enter all of those. Got a Sun and Moon base set and another Battle Styles. Originally, when I wanted one of these, I thought they were all Battle Styles, which I'm not like opposed to the fact that it's not because, again, the pool rates are ridiculous. Oh, these are cool. These are little stickers. And it's got the best Pokemon Luxray. What else have we got in here? I haven't opened one of these yet. More stickers. Maybe I will give these away to... If I don't use any of them for anything, maybe I'll give these stickers away to uh, Logan for his kids. Yeah, it's that's kind of annoying to hear, Jeff. I was wondering if it was just kind of the same for everybody, that all of their cards are that they get in these are bent. Let's see what this is in here. Okay, that's basically it. Again, this will just become, all of these boxes that I got today that I can hold on to will just become spots for cards, extra card spots. Oh, let me just get this plastic thing out of here. Please. Okay. Lunchbox can go in the background too, why not? Gives it more of a, a background, if you will. So this was another thing that was in there. These like smaller card sleeve things. I've got a couple of these recently in a couple different packs I bought. And then a cool notebook. So I can write down my thoughts and everything like that. You should keep those Luxray stickers, Avi. Well, I might keep the Luxray ones, but I might give the other ones away. Um, these, no, this notepad I can actually probably use for wedding stuff, surprisingly. <laughs> All right, so we got a Sun and Moon, a Battle Styles, another Battle Styles, a Vivid Voltage and a Sword and Shield. I'm gonna open the Sword and Shield. I don't think I've ever actually opened a base set Sword and Shield. So we'll do that. Maybe I'll get that cool Snorlax that's on the front there. That would be dope. Yeah, I think I will keep those Luxury stickers. You're probably right. Or maybe I'll put one, at least the giant one, put it somewhere. I haven't decided yet. Okay, I'm gonna assume since this is a base set Sword and Shield that the card trick will be the same. I don't know when that new one started or not, but Okay, one, two, three, and four. And let's see what we get. A Dark Energy, a Pharaoh Thorn, Raboot, Lumberry, Pharaoh Seed. That's a cool artwork for that Krabby as well. Galarian Zigzagoon, Gossifleur, Silly Cobra, a Metal Saucer, Reverse Hollow, and a Frost Moth Hollow. I think I have like three of these, so I'm not really too worried about like putting a, this on a sleeve or anything like that. It'll probably just go and go back in the pile, the pile of shame. All right, base set Sun and Moon. Let's do this one. I think this one was what, three we figured out? Pharaoh did look really cool. That is very true. I'll probably like, I don't know if I'm gonna do it today, but someday soon. I might go through and just like separate all my cards and actually like put them in an order of some sort because I need to like actually organize my cards. How? If you played Pokemon Sun and Moon, you'll know that this is essentially the rival. Passimian. <coughs> Jeff, if you want that Frost Moth, you can have it. <laughs> uh, Rotom Dex, Surskit. Young Goose, Litten, a Pharaoh, Paris. Oh, that's a really, really cool Kangaskhan. I am going to sleeve that one. I don't care if it's like worth much, but that's really cool looking. Oh, and a Lunala GX. So another Lunala GX today. It's a different artwork, but got two Lunala GXs. So that is rad. I will be sleeving this up for sure. Okay, we're doing the 25th anniversary. Organized a bit yesterday and at least narrowed it down by series. I think I should probably do that. Is there a way, like, on the card itself, Harry, to differentiate the series? Because I think I kind of just mix and matched everything, which I shouldn't have done. But, oh well, I made a mistake. 
Lunala FTW for the win, Lunala. I was more of a Sol Galeo person, but I also didn't play much of Sun and Moon. I played through it once and kind of just never really did much else other than that. Have those off to the side. Yeah, I probably should have been separating these. Oops. You learn from your mistakes, kids. Don't be like me. Let's do another Battle Styles, because why not? We have so many of these. Each card in the corner has a symbol. Oh, cool. So I'll just look through later and uh, separate them that way. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You guys are the best. Also, like I said, don't forget to do your homework this week and watch Pokemon the first movie, not the Netflix uh, made one that came out last year, year before. I don't even remember. Time's a flat circle in the pandemic. It's four for this. It's a battle styles. Um, all right. Water energy. Single strike energy. Let me do a little more. Camping gear. A Seedra. Cacnea. A Mawile. Oh, sorry. A single strike mobile. What packs am I opening? I am opening a bunch. I'm opening Battle Style, some Evolutions, Vivid Voltage, Sun and Moon, all kinds of stuff. Spoink, Glarian Mr. Mime, Scatterbug, Claydol, and a Victini VMAX. I finally pulled something good in Battle Styles. And it is a Victini VMAX. Hell yes. I love it. Um, real quick as well, too, anybody that's just joining, yes, I'm opening just kind of a mix of a bunch of different stuff I have acquired recently. Um, I will show that off real quick as well, just to kind of kind of show what we still have left. So, so far, we've opened a few boxes, everything like that, but I've got the Urshifu V boxes, which I know it's kind of hard to see. Let's move the camera back, focus there. So you got the Urshifu V-Box there. This Urshifu V-Box as well. Oh, did not mean for that to happen. So we're opening those. And then we're opening a few other things as well. Let's get those to not fall over. We are going to open a Meowth V-Max box. A Hatrine V-Box. And the last thing we'll open will be this Vaporeon GX box, which is a beautiful. Mildly jealous. All right. So, sorry. Let's readjust the camera here, and we'll get back to this. We're going to open a Vivid Voltage again. Yeah, the Victini is awesome. I'm pretty stoked about that. Harry, what's your pull rates, like, success been with um, Battle Styles? Or Jeff, anybody who's actually been buying Battle Styles, really, are you guys having any luck? Because I think that Victini is probably the only, like, card worth of note that I've gotten out of battle styles yet. And two, three, and a four. <clears throat> All right. Leaf energy. Let's focus this again. Heroes metal. Hit them on top. Croc, Crocoroke, however you pronounce that. Crocoroke, Crocoroke, Weedle. Drillbur. A Clefairy. A Whalmer, Tynamo, a Reverse Hollow Trubbish, which is still garbage, and an Executor. Uh, Battle Styles pull rate, it, yeah, it's definitely one of the worst. I am kind of like, Battle Styles been okay. I've got a few full page cards, but I can check on exactly which. Yeah, a lot of bad packs, and that's kind of where I'm at as well, too. I'm glad that it's not just me, but everything I've seen is that the pull rates on Battle Styles has just been kind of atrocious. So I'm very much looking forward to possibly getting Chilling Rain. I would like to, honestly, I'd like to open more Shining Fates. I've done some, but I opened five Battle Styles and got five regular rares. Jeez, that's rough, man. Let's see if I get anything good on this, speaking of regular rares. Nope, that's going to be bad. It's just a green card. It really sucks how bad the pull rates are in this set. Like... For how hard it is to get Pokemon cards right now, it's kind of a bummer that, like, even if you can get your hands on some battle styles, that you're probably not going to get anything good. Crowdont. Dewblade. Cacturn. Just making sure that it looks good. Timber. 
Corefish, Cacnea to go with the Cacturn, Mawile Single Strike, a Spoink, a Reverse Hollow Milostic, and Aegislash is the rare. So another regular rare. Kind of what this set's been all about is just regular rares, um, which is a huge blow to like pretty much anybody that's trying to get Pokemon cards right now and just can't. It really sucks that even if you can get cards, you're just getting a bunch of meh cards in a new set. So, going to hope maybe I'll get something good. I'll at least get the Urshifu V cards in the V boxes, so that's nice. But speaking of, let's move on. Um, we're going to mix it up a little bit and let's do some Champion's Path. So we're going to do the Champion's Path Hatrine V. I've already gotten one of these before, so I already have the Hatrine V card and the giant card. So we'll open this up, see if we get anything good in these Champion's Path cards. I'm not going to like actually go through popping open or taking the Hatrine V card out. I'm going to just throw it off to the side for now and just sleeve it up later when I actually have a little bit more time. Get these bad boys out. Champion's Path is a pretty cool set too, in my opinion. I've pretty much really liked everything that I've gotten out of it. Um, all right, so we got four Champion's Path packs that we're gonna open up now. We're gonna set these off to the side, worry about those later, and let's do this. All right. In my Champion's Path box, I pulled a Rainbow Trainer and a Normal V, so I will now give you my luck. Thank you. And my last Champion's Path box, what did I get? I feel like I got something good. I can't remember. I don't know. I do... Uh, one of my last streams I did, I did on my birthday uh, a few weeks ago. And I had ordered... Best Buy had, like, some Darkness of Blaze packs. And I think I ordered, like, four. And then I got a couple at Walmart as well. And in those packs, I ended up getting the Charizard VMAX. And I was so stoked on that. That was definitely the best pull of the night. It was in the second to last pack. All right. Fire Energy, Lipard, Team Yell Grunt, a Machoke, Galarian Zigzagoon. Let's make sure that's focused. Scraggy, Rockruff, Vulpix, Galarian Linoon to go along with the Zigzagoon, a Reverse Hollow Team Yell Grunt, and a Marnie Hollow. So a hollow trainer card, not a full art trainer. Full art trainers are obviously the better, you know, the better one. But I'll still save this one up. It's a cool card. I like Marnie. So yeah, one last time. Marnie was the good pull of that. Let's move on to another champion's path. I'm glad that there's been some good pulls so far today because I was honestly, I'm always worried when I'm like, oh, let's do a stream of opening cards that I'm not going to get anything good whatsoever. But it's nice to be wrong every once in a while. All right. Code card. One, two, three, and four. All right. Got a fighting energy. Jeff, should I save any of these packs? I think I might get some... i probably get some more on Monday, so I may not need to, but I was going to say, do you want me to save any of these for the podcast this week? Beedrill. Hatchream. Because I always can. I can throw a couple aside. Uh, Milo. Milo, however you want to pronounce it. Glarian Linoon. Sizzlebead. Hatena. Nicket. NK. Uh, Reverse Hollow Nicket. And a Lichen Rock, the same Lichen Rock I got in one of those uh, Leonhart boxes. So it's a cool card. Got two of these ones now. It'll just go off to the side again with my giant stack of cards that I will eventually go through and separate by type or by set and everything like that. All right, two more Champions Path to go on this, then we'll open one of those Urshifu V boxes. Um. I don't know. It's it's. I don't know if uh, I saved the three Japanese packs I bought for the podcast. I think I get a couple battle styles packs next week, so I think I'll just I'll just open some of those on the podcast. I should have at least two packs open, so 
Oh, I saw the edge of it, and it's a full art card at the back, so that's exciting. Spoilers. Uh, Rotom Bike. Hyper Potion. Lipard. A Full Heal. Purloin. Kakuna. Trubbish. Another word for garbage. Hatena. A Reverse Hollow Machop. And... A, gl a guard of war v nice that's a dope card not too bad there's some pretty good pulls today I, I you know today is kind of a good day when you actually get a good card in uh, <laughs> battle styles so that is exciting add that to the pile uh let's see we we've been streaming for about an hour now so your luck did work thank you so I, what I'll do is just give a quick update on some of the, the cards I decided to sleeve up. Some of the nicer ones. So most of them are full art cards, but we've got that Gardevoir V we just pulled. We got the Victini VMAX. Lunala GX. Again, a couple of these are just from the front of those boxes. That Kangaskhan, which isn't, you know, the best, but this is the one from the front of the box. I'm sorry. Lunala GX. Alakazam EX. And a Colossal VMAX, which is absolutely beautiful. So overall today, pretty good pulls. Pretty, pretty good. All right, last Champion's Path. Hi, I missed anything. You have. I literally just went over some of the cards. Uh, let's see if you catch them or not, Dylan. But I can always, I'll probably show off again, like, some of the good pulls. I finally got a good card in battle style, so that was a plus. All right, just a code card. One, two, three, and four. All right. Uh, okay, we've got a grass energy. Let's focus here. A Malmar, a Machoke. That's a kind of a more realistic one. Pokemon Center Lady. I like how they don't even call her, like, Nurse Joy anymore, or, like, a nurse or anything. Weedle. Glarian Zigzagoon. Rockruff. Full Heal. Scraggy. Reverse Hollow Milo. And another Machamp. This is the third Hollow Machamp I've pulled. That's a cool card as well. Yeah, I'll sleep that one up. Why not? Might as well, you know? Add it to the collection of sleeved cards. So that was the Champion's Path box. Um, I like Champion's Path quite a bit as a set. I think it's a cool set. So anytime I can find those when they're not ridiculously priced is kind of nice. But let's move on to the Urshifu V box for the single strike Urshifu V. Open this. I like to kind of pull it away and open it. It's a little bit easier. I don't have to worry about, like, knocking my camera over. By camera, I mean phone. Pokemon Lady... Uh, Pokemon Center Lady is a great card. Super helpful in the actual game. Maybe I'll get her in some of these codes I enter today. Which I will probably enter at some point when I have a little bit of free time. So since I have not opened one of these before... Ooh, there's Darkness of Blaze packs in here. So that's exciting. Another code card... Since I haven't opened one of, or this guy yet, I will show the big cards that come on this. Uh, comes with two battle styles. So two battle styles. A Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon, and a Darkness Ablaze. Which Darkness Ablaze, again, has the Charizard in it. Which is beautiful. Alright, let's go. We'll start with the ginormous Single Strike Urshifu V. That'll go in my giant binder at some point. For now, we're just going to set it off to the side. Because I don't want to have to pull that binder back out. Oh yeah, we opened... Uh, anybody that joined late, we opened the partner pack earlier. And if you're wondering what packs are in it, there was a Battle Styles, which was cool, and then a Sun and Moon. Or was it a Sun and Moon? I think it was a Sun and Moon. So here's the two cards that come with it. There's a Reverse Hollow Single Strike Energy. And the actual Single Strike Urshifu V card. So we'll sleeve these guys up. It's funny because these are so hard to find right now. 
But then you see the most expensive card you pulled so far is $23. Hey, that's not bad. If anything, it'll just go up in value. I think the most, the rarest cards I probably have are like the, the cards that are worth the most are the Full Art Skyla and then that Charizard that I have. Those are probably like my prized cards so far. All right, let's start with, let's do Crimson Invasion. I'm kind of tired of opening battle styles. There's so many of them in this, these different stacks of things. Code card, throw it off to the side. One, two, three, and four. All right, Psychic Energy. My assumption for the most expensive card would have been that Colossal, but I could be wrong. Counter Energy. Excelagor. Oh, the Colossal VMAX. Nice. Lusamine. Lusamine. Alolan Geodude. Mistrevious. Mencino. Numel. Swinub. Swinub, however you pronounce it. Dashing Pouch. Fanny Pack. Just call it a Fanny Pack. And a Wiggly Tuff. Wiggly Tuff looks mad. Big mad. Okay. Next, we'll move on. Let's do battle styles. I know I said I'm tired of opening battle styles, but there's so many of them in all of these boxes that I might as well open them up first. I think after this, I'll do the Meowth VMAX box. We're getting close. I saw this giant style, of, or giant style, giant pile of Vivid Voltage to go through as well. Look, another green Vivid Volt, or another green battle style. So probably nothing super amazing in this either. Electric, Phoebe, Heat more, Pharaoh, Pachirisu, Cherubi, Mianfu, Silly Cobra, Glorian Mr. Mime, a Reverse Hollow Cheryl, and a Jellicent. Nothing. Next. RIP Fairy Type. Yep. RIP Fairy Type. Okay. Darkness Ablaze. Let's move on to this. Maybe we'll get another Charizard. That would be super dope. But this card at the top here will let us know if we're getting anything good anyways. Ooh, there's a chance. The giant paper bag now full of empty packs sitting here. All right. Dark Energy. Vanillish. Shin Shin Shinodic? Shinodic? Ursaring? Hippopotamus? Hippopotas? Hippopoda Have you say that? I don't know. Hippopotas. There we go. Sintret. Larvesta, Morlol, Toxel, a Reverse Hollow Panseer, and an Eternius V, which this looks kind of bent as well a little bit, but that's a cool card. That's actually the first Eternius I pulled. I like it. I want that gold Eternius one, but there's a chance. We got something good. We actually got something good in this Darkness Ablaze. Which I think the... Yeah, this is a really cool card. I like it. All right. Let's move on to the last battle styles of this. I keep saying we'll go faster, and then it keeps not happening. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm really trying. Sometimes it's hard, though, because like, I just want to look at these cards. Eter Eternatus? Is that how you say it? Not Eternia? Jeff, quit correcting me. <laughs> Just know that I'm never going to pronounce Pokemon names right. It doesn't matter how much of a Pokemon fan I am. I will never get all of the names right. Dark type. Escape Rope. Grumpig. Luxio. Bellsprout. Onyx. Spiro. Sizzlepeed, Shinx, a Reverse Hollow Houndoom Single Strike, and a Lur Lurantis is the, the rare. I actually really like this Houndoom. Uh, I wish it was a Hollow, it's Reverse Hollow, but I'm going to sleeve this one up. It gets the Eevee sleeve, because as you guys all know, Eevee sucks. So we'll put the lame cards in the Eevee sleeves and the good cards in the Pikachu sleeves. Shout out to Jeff. 
for liking such a terrible Pokemon. I'm trying not to correct you so much. <laughs> Are you? You sure? I'm just kidding, Jeff. It's all in good fun, I know. Yeah, Houndoom does look rad. Okay, let's open a, a Vivid Voltage. I just want to get through this pile of Vivid Voltage I have sitting here. These are ones that I was able to order through Best Buy. They were doing like two packs a day that you could order. So I did that for like a week. Kakuna. <coughs> Cheer, uh, Surchester Bath. Galarian Stunfisk. Ferroseed. Dadene. Drillbur. Oshawott. Duskull. A Reverse Hollow Electrode. Ooh, and a memory capsule gold trainer card. Ooh. Nice. I'm pretty sure this is a, a pretty rare card as well, too, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe somebody in the chat will actually let me know uh, what that card is worth. Hopefully, it's worth something. Very beautiful. I like it. I should actually just, like, look up. I should probably just pull a list up. But that is a beautiful card that is getting sleeved immediately. I'm having some pretty good luck today. I'm not gonna lie. Like this has been a this has been a pretty good stream. Okay, of our stack of cards we have here, we've got quite we've got three of each, I think. So we're gonna mix these up a little bit. So we're gonna do battle styles next. It's worth 19. Okay, so that's not bad. The prices are only going up on Pokemon cards. It's not like they, uh, not like they're ever gonna drop anytime soon. I feel like, which as much as I would love it too. I almost bought a single card the other day. I haven't bought single cards since I started doing this, but it was a shiny Scyther, which Scyther is my favorite Pokemon, and I was so tempted. Move all the scraps out of the way. All right, one, two, three, and four. Uh, there's names where it's like, okay, those letters could make that sound and I'm letting them go. But then someone entirely compulsion. Jeff, I got like three hours of sleep last night. Leave me alone. <laughs> I will get it right. Eventually. A turn, a turnitus. Golbat. Tool jammer. Per ugly. Cheruby. Uh, single strike mawile. Onyx. I try to just say if they're single strike or rapid strike anytime because that's such a new thing. Uh, rapid strike Rimmeraid, Zubat, B Sharp, which is a cool card, and a Me and Shao. So again, we're just continuing this ever ending pile of like awful battle styles packs, which sucks. Because I really, 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 really want to like battle styles and I want to get some good cards, but I just keep not doing it. Oh, here's a good chance for this vivid voltage. Chunkachu, maybe. Hey, IDK, but I'm selling a Holo Charizard 2016. I don't really buy single cards. Um, like I was just saying, much recently. Plus, also, like, they're really expensive, most of the cards, so. Alright, Fighting Type Energy, Winden Stadium, Substrika, Exadrill, Rock Rough, Blitzel, Skidoo, Pharaoh Seed, Dedene, a Reverse Hollow Swallow, and an Ore Beetle V. Nice. I actually got a shiny one of these the other day. So the V is definitely welcome. Yeah, I Charizard is like, it's definitely a cool card. I would like to pull one, but again, I don't know if I want to pay um, the prices that are being charged for cards right now. No offense, I'm sure it's probably an expensive card though. So I don't really feel like doing that at the moment. Also, because I'm trying to save up for a wedding. Those are not cheap. Yeah, that's a cool card. I'm getting some some pretty good cards today. Uh, I think a majority of them are actually coming from Vivid Voltage, which is kind of cool. It's worth a dollar. Man, well, that's a shame. It's still cool. At least it looks cool. Battle Styles. Give me something good. Give me something good. We're going to open the Meowth of Emacs box after we make it through this small pile of cards I have here. 
We have three boxes left after these single uh, booster packs that I have here from Best Buy orders. All right. Sorry, let's focus this here a little bit. Psychic Energy, Golbat, another B Sharp, just not a reverse hollow this time. Sword Word and Shieldbert, which are the dumbest names. Lickitung, Yamper, Jeff's actual favorite Pokemon, right? Scatterbug, Glarian Mr. Mime, Spoink, Dewblade, and Electrovire, non hollow, but it is a cool card. So the, the reverse hollow dual blade is kind of cool. Not really worth anything, but it's kind of cool. All right, another vivid voltage. Let's get through these last couple packs. Then we'll move on to the other big, the bigger, better, bigger, better, faster, whatever you want to call them boxes. Oh, it's going to be a bad vivid voltage pack. That's okay. We've had really good luck with vivid voltage so far. Grass type, energy, swallow, garvantula, another swallow, two in a pack. That's funny. Cottony, Clobopus, Electrike, Execute, another Eevee for Jeff, a Rakuda, and a Garbodor. Garbage. Jeff, what is your favorite Pokemon? I know you've told me this before, but now I don't know what it is. I feel like a bad friend that I don't remember what your favorite Pokemon is, because you obviously know what mine is. I make it very clear what mine is. All the time. Alright, Code Card... Garbage. One, two, three, and four. Fire type energy. A Corkle. Bruno single strike. Golbat. Sorry, let's focus that again. Scatterbug. Corfish. Glammeow. Another Yamper. Me and Fowl Rapid Strike. Tower of Darkness single strike. Oh, Arcanine. Duh, I knew that. And a Clay Doll. All right, last two of these, then we'll move on to the Meowth VMAX box, which has another Evolutions pack. I think that's the last, no, the Vaporeon GX box has the last um, Evolutions pack that I've got today. All right, code card one, two, three, and four. It's another green, so that's probably not gonna be anything super great. Dark type energy, stone energy, shuckle, Cramorant eating an Aracuda, which is kind of violent for a card pack to show. Puchina, 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 however you pronounce it. Charmander, Chatot, Joltank, Cottony. Uh, is this the reverse? Yeah, the reverse hollow, Crocoroke, right? And then a non hollow Manectric is the rare. Okay, moving on. Last battle styles before we open up the VMAX. Meowth box, which that Meowth Meowth Max card is super cool as well too. See if we get something good in this Battle Styles box or pack here. I doubt it, but hey, crazier things have happened. So far, we're not really not averaging too high on these. A Grass type Cheryl, Dewblade, and very angry Morpeko. A Chimeco, Chimeco, however you pronounce that. Chimeco, Chim we tried to figure this out the other day and we didn't know. Roly Coley, Blipbug, Frillish, Cubone, a Reverse Hollow Camping Gear, and another Necrozma V. Nice. So what is that? That's three Necrozma Vs so far. Two from this set and then one from that box. So we'll also sleeve this guy up. I don't know if the Necrozma V is worth much either, but... Might as well sleeve it up. It's a cool card. And all of this can go back into the pile of stuff that wasn't very great that'll get filed later. <laughs> okay, let's do the Meowth VMAX box. So there is the Meowth VMAX box. It's got your giant Meowth in the background there. That's a $2 card, so that's not bad. I got two of those then. All right, like I said, we'll open this off to the side. These ones, though, I will show off in a little bit more detail because I don't already have these cards. Another code card. Got some pretty cool packs in here. We'll show those off in a second, but let's show off the Meowth VMAX Ginormous card. 
G Max Gold Rush. Anybody that watches Digimon knows that that's a thing from that. We'll sleeve those up later, but we'll sleeve up the smaller cards for now. Let's get this one out of here and this one. The worst part about like collecting Pokemon cards again, other than spending real money on them and trying to find them, is like all of the cleanup that it takes after doing something like this. All right, so we've got the Meowth V. Let's focus this here. So we got the Meowth V and the Meowth V Max full art card. I assume the Meowth V and V Max probably aren't worth a whole lot too, due to the fact that they come in this set. But also, all of these sets are super hard to find right now, so they could be. I don't really know. I should probably actually look up the value of a lot of these cards when I have a free minute to do so. All right. So in here, we've got a Cosmic Eclipse pack with a bunch of baby Pokemon. A Evolutions. Nice. A Cosmic Eclipse with Lunala and Sun Soul Galeo. And Unified Mind Sun and Moon with a Darkrai and a Gar... What is his name? Uh... The Garchomp, right? Am I not? I'm getting that right, aren't I? I'm not a fake fan. I, I swear. Let's do the first Cosmic Eclipse pack that we have here. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear someone mowing the lawn in the background. My window's open because I'm the onesie I'm wearing is very hot. Uh, the Sun and Moon card trick, I think, is three cards. Yeah, so we'll do that. Oh, that's promising. Three. All right. Guzma and Hala. It's a tag team card. Well, that's a cool Jolteon. Nice. I like Jolteon. Inns Resolve. Trap Inch. Sorry, that stuck. Oddish. Rufflet, Piplup, Alolan Vulpix, a Reverse Hollow Pancham. Ooh. Oh, there was. I did the card trick wrong. We've got a Tag Team Rainbow, Mega Lopany, and Jigglypuff. That is really nice. Oh, there is a hood on the onesie, which. There you go. It's my Charmander onesie I got for Christmas. That is beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. We're sleeving this as well. That was a good start to this box. Yes, thank you. It was a Garchomp. I, I was right. It's funny. I should know that because I really like Garchomp. Garchomp's a super cool Pokemon. Okay. Next. Let's do the Unified Minds. Sorry if I'm like rushing through some of these nicer cards as well too. Kind of want to speed things up a little bit so this isn't too long of a stream. Already a lot of people hanging out, taking time out of their day to watch, which I really appreciate. So I don't want to make everybody hang around too long. And three. All right, we got a Mesprite, which again, another legendary Pokemon that's not a rare card. It's always so weird to me. Uh, Sableye, that's a really, really cool Lapras art. I love that. Uh, Dratini, which is very cool as well. Fungus, Honedge, 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 that's what it is. Sneasel, Magnemite, a Reverse Hollow Electric, and a Hollow Celebi. Oh, I did, it is four cards for these. That Celebi is really nice too. I will sleeve that as well. I want to get that, uh, the, like, secret rare one that comes in, um, what's the set? I think it's, isn't it Shining Fates, right? There's, like, a really cool full art Celebi. I want to get that. That's what I'm going to do. Sorry, we're taking a quick second here. My phone that I'm using, this camera that I use, makes my phone die kind of fast, so I need to plug my phone in. I haven't plugged it in before this. Okay, cool Celebi and that pack to add to the pile of cool cards. And again, well, I'll show off the cards I got again 
and go through like the stack of like cool rares and stuff like that that I'm holding on to. But for now, uh, I pulled, I don't know when you were last here, uh, but I pulled this Celebi just now and this Full Art Megalopony and Jigglypuff Rainbow card. So those were the two cool pulls we just got to add to the ever-growing pile of cool cards so far that we've gotten today. All right, Cosmic Eclipse we're going to do, and then we'll do the Evolutions last. It does appear that the card trick is four for these. Uh, I don't know if it's the same. I don't think it's the same for the um, Evolutions, though. I'm pretty sure Evolutions is still three. <clears throat> Excuse me. One, two, three, and four. All right, so we've got Leaf Energy, Celio, Draw Energy, Cos Cosmium, Phantom, yeah, Alolan Grammar, Magnemite, Eevee, Flabby, ooh, that is a really cool card. So the Beware is the rare, but there's a really cool Coughing Full Art card. That is beautiful. Love that. That will get sleeved right away as well. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. I, was, I wasn't I was sure about this pack because I had one of the green cards. I thought this was going to be a bad pack, but that's a cool coughing. All right. Last pack of this box. And then we only have two boxes left, and then we're done. So we'll get through this. Evolutions. Second to last Evolutions pack we'll be opening today. Oh, Fifteen dollars for the coughing? That's not bad at all. Especially I thought I wasn't gonna get anything out of that one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Maybe we'll get something good. Card trick on this one is three. Please give me Charizard. Please give me Charizard. Please give me Charizard. Please give me Charizard. A potion. Uh, another Machoke. Full heal. Star you. Onyx, Weedle, a Machop, Tangela, Reverse Hollow, Kakuna, and a Magneton Hollow. Yes, that is absolutely beautiful. Wow. I absolutely love it. Cool. So, out of these evolutions pack, we have at least gotten something that is good. Getting a Magneton is beautiful. Beautiful. I am very stoked on this card. I'm not going to lie. I was worried that essentially all of the Evolutions packs were going to kind of just have nothing when it came to rares. But they did not. All right. We are so close. Thank you, everybody that is hanging out. We're going to open this Urshifu V, and then we'll move on to the Vaporeon box. And then we're, that's it. We're done. Thank you for hanging out, everybody that's been here for an hour and a half so far. I greatly appreciate it. Again, this stream is all about trying to get me to affiliate status. Uh, if you like this, I also am, have been streaming Destiny. I will probably stream some Outriders. I will also be streaming Resident Evil. I've been trying to stream through the series, but that, that series of streams kind of died, so I might just skip to doing 7 and 8. Uh, for now, maybe I'll go back and finish... It turns out that Resident Evil Zero is not the best game, so... Oh, man, this got bent bad. My uh, Urshifu V Rapid Strike Giant card just got mutilated. That's a shame. That's a big shame. Oh, well. At least the big cards I don't care about as much. I care more about these. Sorry I missed the first part of the stream, but it was fun. Uh, it's fun to see what cards you get. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, Dylan. Uh, don't worry too much about missing the beginning. It's it's fine. I'll go over what cards I've gotten so far and everything like that. I'll do a giant pile at the end of what I've got before heading out. Okay, so again, comes with a rapid strike energy on this one instead of the single strike. Uh, embarrassingly noob question, but what does affiliate status actually mean? So it means that you're basically, you can get subs uh, and stuff like that to your channel. Um, and you, like, it'll play ads before you're your streams go live. You can do co-streams like Jeff and I want to do on Pokemon. 
So that should be fun. So there's those two cards there. And then again, uh, basically the same packs again. Crimson Invasion, Battle Styles, Darkness Ablaze, and another Battle Styles. All right. Let's sleeve these guys up. We'll move on to these packs. Try to get through this next box faster. Get to the final box. And then get out of here for the day. But yeah, I just want to I want to be able to hit affiliate. I've been trying for a while. Back when I was actually unemployed and during the pandemic I was trying and it didn't happen. Um, and I got so busy I wasn't able to stream, but now I'm I'm figuring out a little bit more of my work life balance. And with that, I want to I want to be able to stream more. I have fun doing this. Uh, turns out doing the podcast was like kind of awoken something in me just being like, yeah, I actually really like talking to people on camera. And I don't think I'm the worst at it. I still refuse to listen to my voice on any of the podcasts, but that's a that's a me thing, not a not anything else. Okay, battle styles, yay! I think these are actually the last two battle styles packs I have for the day. None of these other things I'm opening have battle styles in them, other than this box. Okay, let's see what we get. A green card, yay! Another atrocious pool, probably, and this one. One, two, three, and four. All right, Psychic Energy, B Sharp, Weeping Bell, Phoebe, let's make that sure that focuses, Onyx, Sizzlepeed, Glammeow, Slowpoke, Yamper, Reverse Hollow Aegislash, and a Mian Shao. I got two of these Reverse Hollow Aegislashes so far. Like them. Uh, but I don't need to sleeve them up or anything like that. Okay. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Give me a sec. I want to keep all my very cool evolutions cards separate. And I didn't do that. Let's get rid of some of these plastic things. All right. Crimson Invasion. Not the best set from what I hear. Uh, but again, Battle Styles also isn't the best set, and we're opening a bunch of those, so. Win some, you lose some. I'm gonna have so much fun entering all these codes later. Alright, Dark Type Energy! Sorry, I can't tell if I keep moving the camera. Dark Type Energy, Peaking Red Card, uh, Sencino, Alolan Graveler, which is still so funny to me that it's a electric type. Star Yu, Jungmo, Jungmo, -o, how do you pronounce that? Shelmut, Sandit, Starly, a Reverse Hollow Regigigas. I actually have this card, I think, in the regular Hollow, and then a Star Raptor Non Hollow. Uh, the Regigigas is pretty cool. I like that card. Or re re yeah, Regigigas, Gigas, Regigigas. I don't know. Jeff will correct me eventually when this pops up if I'm wrong. So, at least I got that going for me. All right, we'll save this up. Just because. Just because. I doubt that card's worth anything either, but who knows? Okay. Battle Styles. Oops. Battle Styles pack. I think, like I said, I think this is the last one. Oh, great. Another green. Probably not anything too special. Dark Energy. Level Ball. Uh, Spewpaw. Gliscor. Murkrow. Tepic Single Strike. Haunt Edge. And Electabuzz. I used to always say Electrabuzz when I was a kid. I did not know that there wasn't an R in there. Uh, Baltoy. Reverse Hollow Hunchcrow. And a non-hollow Scorch. I have a hollow version of that card as well, too, already. Last pack in here. Darkness Ablaze. Let's hope we get another Charizard. Or anything else that's good in this set. Uh, the Eternius would be really cool as well. Oh, it's not going to be anything too great. Green card. One, two, three, four. Fighting Energy. Staravia. Shinotic, Flaffy, just like chillin', vibin'. 
Gathita. Sorry. Gothita, however you say it. Skarmory. Cubchu. Wimpod. Bunnelby. Reverse Hollow Wimpod. And a non hollow Hydragon. Or Hyd Hydragon? Hydragon? However you pronounce it. Or is it Hydragon? Jeff, again, where you at, dude? You gotta correct me on all these. I obviously don't know what I'm saying. Giant Pokemon cards will get on here for now. So I can move them out of the way to open the final product of today's unboxing. Which we'll have to pull this back a little bit because this is a big boy. This is the Vaporeon GX. They had a Flareon and Jolteon one as well too up at Pokemon Center last week. But I was only able to get my hands on this one, unfortunately. I was very, very, very bummed about that. Okay. Let's open this one up. What does this even have in it? I'm trying to look at the sets. The only one I saw on here so far that I know is the Evolutions. So much stuff to toss out. A lot of plastic. Bad for the environment. Sun and Moon Evolutions. Celestial Storm. Lost Thunder. A couple Lost Thunders. I'll show those packs off here in a second. But for now, let's show off the ginormous Vaporeon. Jeff left a bit ago, message saying uh, it, but you missed it. Oh, that's okay. Sorry, Jeff. Oh, I gotta go, bud. Good luck hitting the affiliate. No worries, Jeff. Thank you, Harry, for letting me know. Thank you, Harry, for hanging out. Thank you, everybody else, for hanging out, for being so active in the chat. I appreciate it. Road to affiliate is continuing right here. Oh, camera fell. Oops. <laughs> Uh, Vaporeon GX and an Eevee GX in this set or this box so we'll sleeve these guys up I don't know if these are worth anything but again at the same time it's like everything is hard to find right now so might as well sleeve them up the value of these is like I said only gonna go up I feel like not down so we'll sleeve these up finally have the like space here where I had all my boxes and packs sitting is now open for me to set stuff there so that's nice before, I just had to kind of like throw everything around, which I'll put my sleeved cards up here at some point. I'm going to put the ones that I actually really like, is what I mean. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, no. Yeah. We're little minor technical difficulties, but uh, we're still here. Let's do a Lost Thunder, because it's got the uh, Zero Aura card on it, which is, that's a cool Pokemon as well. Or the artwork, I mean, not the card itself, but. All right, here we go. I don't know the card trick. I think this is Sun and Moon, so maybe it's, maybe it's only three, but we're gonna do four anyways. Yeah, Thunder, Shinotic, Shinotic, Fairy Charm, Go, -go, Go Goat, which is such a silly name. Uh, Hop It. Another Eevee. Another Hop It. <laughs> a Picky Peck. A Durant. A Reverse Hollow Grovile. I actually really like that. And a Beautifly. I'm going to save up that Reverse Hollow Grovile because I like it as well. It's not something that's really worth anything, but it's worth something to me. And that's all that matters. As long as I like it, that's really all I care about. Okay, so what we have left, these are the last four packs. I'm going to save the evolutions for last, of course. So, we're going to open a Celestial Storm. It's got, it's got Jirachi on the front. I like Jirachi a lot. I also did not know that Jirachi was a Steel-type Pokemon. Right? Jirachi's a Steel Psychic? Is that what it is? The amount of Pokemon that are Steel-type that I did not know about, like, blows my mind. Okay, green, so we're not off to a good start, but hey, whatever. At least I get to see some new cards. I haven't opened this set before. All right, fighting, lantern, a very cool Shelgon like uh, knit character, hustle belt, that's a cool Larvitar, Whalmer, Bellsprout, Chinchow, Medi Meditite, Reverse Hollow Sneasel, 
And a non hollow Wailord is the rare. Okay, moving on to the next one. Correct, Steel Psychic. I was right, finally. Now Jeff can get off my back about something at least, whenever he, if he sees this later. All right, Guardians Rising is what we're gonna open next. Then we'll do the Lost Thunder, and then last but not least, we will do the Evolutions, and maybe we will get a Charizard. Even though we didn't get a Charizard like in any of the other sets today, I'm not even mad. Like today was a, it was a good, good pool day. These last packs may not be the best, but whatever, we'll find out. All right, so we got a Fire, Vanillish, Whimsicott. Marini, Gumi, Slowpoke, Mudbray, Delibird, Wishy Washy, Reverse Hollow Holla, and a Whiskosh. Which, ooh, the art, like the, you guys see that? The, the borders on this card, like the edging is so off. It's like this side has like barely anything and then this side has just like a full side. Huh, really bad print on that. All right, last two packs. Lost Thunder. Also, you probably just heard a motorcycle in the back. Gumi looked cool. Gumi is pretty cool. What is Gumi? Gumi evolves into Sligo, right? Or Sligo? Sligo? Oh, that's promising. All right, one, two, three, four. After this, I'll probably enter all these codes as well, which will take me hours. Energy, Shuckle, Spell Tag, Memory Energy, a Cutie Fly, which is such a great name for that Pokemon. Uh, Deli Bird, Chillin' on the Beach is the Vacation Vibes. Hopip, EV, that's a cool EV artwork. Another Hopip, a Piggy Peck, a Reverse Hollow Larvitar, and a Mimikyu GX. For another full art rare. We are not doing too bad again. Like I said, let's see if we get some of that last pack uh, luck here and get something good. That Mimikyu is nice. Nice second to last pack. Let's see if we can get anything in the last pack. All right, everybody. Again, thanks for hanging out. Uh, please follow as well, too, if you're already watching here. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, please follow me on Twitch. It is ddanger 10 uh, like I said, this was the road to affiliate. So hopefully by the end of this, we have hit affiliate. Um, I need the average of three viewers. Today has been pretty good for that. Um, I don't know how they track that. So we'll see. I'm going to continue to do stuff. Like I said, I'll stream some Outriders later. Um, that's a good sign there. Going to stream some Outriders later. I've been streaming Destiny. Um, and yeah, like I'll do more Pokemon card pack openings as well too when I have packs to open. Uh, I did, was able to go in with a friend on pre-ordering a Chilling Rain box through a shop, which seems to be a reputable, reputable shop, but we won't be getting it till like July. So that'll be way later. And then I should have left Battle Styles, like same thing, half of a box of Battle Styles open uh, in May. So we'll see. All right. <sighs> Last pack. Got a Switch, a Coughing, Revive, another Tangela, a Ponyta, a Doduo, Staryu, Seal, Reverse Hollow Weedle, and a Hollow Nidoking for the last rare of the day. Beautiful. It does look a little bent, which is not amazing, but Nidoking is, that's a really cool card. The only two cards I was hoping for today, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I wanted a Mewtwo and a Charizard, but um, that's fine. I'm not not mad at anything that was pulled today. I got a Reverse Hollow Weedle and Kakuna. thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, not bad for the last rare, a Nidoking. So I'm going to pack that up. And then what I'll do here to end this out is I'm going to show off all of the rares that I have sleeved up as well just to kind of go through some of them here for you guys well anybody that showed up late anything like that so we're gonna start we got hound doom this is a reverse hollow make sure that you guys can actually see the cards because i know the cases kind of reflect things a reggie reggie gigas reggie gigas however you say it i'm gonna throw these off to the side to make it a little easier all right sorry reggie gigas 
a Mimic UGX. Oh, there's a couple upside down cards in there. Sleeves are sticking together as well. So the Mimic UGX, the Vaporeon GX, the EV GX, which came in that box with Vaporeon. These are all sticking together. Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Urshifu V. Let's get it to focus. It's kind of not wanting to focus on the name of the cards here, but that's okay. Magneton. That really cool full art coughing, which I definitely dig. It's hard to pull these apart. They're all sticking together. A Celebi Hollow. The uh, Mega Lopany and Jigglypuff GX full art. Um... Rainbow card. Got a few rainbow cards today, which was nice. Meowth V. Meowth V Max. We got that dual camera set up. You know it, Jackson. You know it. Meowth V Max. You came up right here. You got here right at the end, but I appreciate it. Necrozma V. I got a few of those. Or Orbital. Orbital V. I don't know why I said Orbital. Orbital V. Memory Capsule. Gold card. Very beautiful. Eternius V. A the single strike Urshifu V. The single strike energy hollow, which is kind of just a whatever card, but I sleeved it up anyways. Another Machamp. I pulled a few of these. Gardevoir V. The Victini Victini V Max, I think, is the best card I pulled out of Battle Styles today. Lunala GX. A Reverse Hollow Kangaskhan. I just leave this because I like the look of it. Uh, Lunala GX, another one. The Alakazam EX. That's really cool because it's got the Umbreon in the background. The Colossal VMAX, I think, was probably the best pool of the day. The Alolan Muck. Just a cool hollow. I wanted to sleeve that up. Marnie. Not, you know, again, not the most amazing thing and then the last card is that nitto king that we pulled so yes pretty good pulls today um thank you everybody that hung out this was a lot of fun i've been stacking up boxes and packs for the past two weeks to open today so i'm glad that i had a pretty solid turnout for this i really appreciate it yeah some pretty nice cards today i agree time to put them in that pokemon lunchbox exactly Hello, Islam and Jackson. Thank you guys for showing up at, towards the end of the stream. Islam, I'm sorry I missed your stream, but I happened to go live right around the same time you did. Um, everybody, again, thank you for hanging out. This has been a lot of fun. We're going to we're gonna do this just for the last little bit so you guys can get a full screen look at myself. Um, thank you so much, for everybody, for hanging out. This was a blast. Uh, we opened a lot of packs. Like I said, I may stream some Outriders later on today. Happy Easter, everybody, as well. I forgot we are doing this on Easter. Um, hopefully, we hit affiliate after today. I have no idea if we actually will. But this was a blast. Getting to open all these cards was fun. Chatting with everybody was fun. Uh, make sure you follow me as well, too, on here. D Danger 10, you can follow me on Twitter as well. D underscore Danger 10. Follow Podcast Monsters. Like I said, everybody watch Pokemon the first movie. We have Will Beeman joining us this coming up Saturday to talk about it with us as well and yeah thank you every time take a shot every time he says blast right blast voice that's what i wanted to pull too is a blast voice all right everybody again thank you so much for hanging out i really appreciate it you guys